in this question it is given that let the function fx equal to this thing when x is non-zero and 10 if x is equal to 0 is continuous at x equal to 0 then a is equal to it's very easy question just you have to remember the formula limit x tends 0 log of 1 plus x upon x is 1 where base is e and because the function is given to you continues at x equal 0 therefore limit as x tends to 0 and value of function must be same value of function is clearly 10 now let us find limit as x tends to 0 limit as x tends to 0 log of 1 plus 5x minus log of 1 plus alpha x whole upon x this is equal to limit x tends 0 log of 1 plus 5x upon x minus limit x tends 0 log of 1 plus note that i have separated the limits to avoid any mistake in future i am telling you this concept that limit x tends to a fx plus or minus gx is equal to limit x tends to a fx plus or minus limit x tends to a gx this operation is not always allowed that is going from left to right this is allowed only if at least one of the limit exists and is finite number suppose you know the limit of this is exists and finite number but you don't know the limit of this immediately this requires suppose calculation then you are allowed to separate because i am telling you you know the limit of at least one of them that limit exists and is a finite number then even if you don't know the limit of this immediately you are allowed to separate this is a very useful concept if both the limits are non to you then obviously it is correct this is equal to limit x tends 0 log of 1 plus 5x upon 5x into 5 because i know that the limit of this is a finite number because i know that the limit of this is a finite number limit of this is a finite number therefore i have separated them even if I know the limit of one part as finite number but I don't know the limit of other part immediately even then I am allowed to separate minus limit x tends 0 log of 1 plus alpha x upon alpha x into alpha now clearly the value of this is 1 hence I get 5 minus alpha because the limit of this part is also 1 obviously left hand limit and right hand limit both are 5 minus alpha and because the value of function is 10 for the function to be continuous 5 minus alpha should be equal to 10 that is alpha becomes 5 minus 10 that is minus 5 hence i can say d is the correct choice